Welcome back to Sportsline. I'm Steve Wrigley sitting in for Steve Lehman and John Burton who are enjoying some well-deserved time off. Boy, it's going to be a steamy one on Saturday when the uh, Titans take on the Panthers. It's a 2 o'clock kick across the Cumberland from downtown. It's uh, the Panthers in town. They're going to practice tomorrow and, uh, and Thursday. Now, practices start at 9.15 in the morning. Both practices are open to the public. The only problem could be if it rains because that would force them inside the bubble and there is not enough room for fans inside the bubble to watch these practices. The Panthers come in. Uh, Cam Newton's going to see some, uh, not going to see any live action is what Ron Rivera said today. I listened to his press conference, but he is going to try to uh, work him a little bit more in some individual drills, but uh, no sense in trying to lose their superstar quarterback who is coming back from surgery on his throwing shoulder. He's been doing some light tossing, but there is no way that Ron Rivera and the Carolina Panthers want to jeopardize their season by, uh, by taking a chance with Cam Newton. He had that great season two years ago, NFL MVP, took them to the Super Bowl where they, where they came real close but they could not quite get it done. Finish runner up in the NFL. So it's the Panthers in town. Two practices, like I said, 9.15 in the morning, open to the public on Wednesday and Thursday unless it rains and they have to go in the bubble and they're gonna have all sorts of problems if they have to go in the bubble. It's, it's a great new facility, you know, redone, but uh, there's just not enough room for fans to, to get a look at it. And really, uh, when you have two football teams out there, not enough room really to do all the kind of drills and the kind of work that they wanna do. So the defense for the Titans gives up a touchdown in the opening drive against the Jets in the first game of the preseason. Then they shut them out the rest of the way. So we could expect good things, I think, from this defense. A little problems, maybe a little, maybe in the, in the secondary there may be some question marks. They are some depth issues, some things they need to figure out. But uh, you know they've, they've been pretty good. They were pretty good uh, with the exception of that opening drive. Here's Wesley Woodard talking about uh, just just where they're at on defense for the Tennessee Titans. It's a it's a new face, and you know it'll be somewhat of a game day. You know, practice against new faces out there is something that we we're not familiar with their schemes. It's another scheme that we actually get a get a chance to to go up against and test our skills against another NFL team. Do you think you'll see Cam, or do you not worry about that? Oh, no, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, I'm sure he'll take some reps. You know, he's not going to take any any blows in practice or anybody. You know, we'll treat him just like we expect them to treat Marcus. You know, stay away from him. But on game day, everybody's live. <laughs> You say you look forward to Saturday, then, that you can get in there. Uh, do, do you think that uh, th this defense is progressing like it should? After, I mean, you've only had one game, but you've had two weeks of camp now. We're, we're growing every day, and our goal is to be better every day. You know, obviously we didn't have a good showing last, uh, the first drive. You know, we got to fix that. But overall, I think we we are where we are right now because of hard work, and we only get better because we're going to keep working hard. Press for you with Jay on in, in his first game Saturday. Uh, you know he made some pretty good plays. You know we're, we're still going to be hard on him because we see that he can be a great, great linebacker one day in the NFL. So we're going to keep pushing him. But you know the sky's the limit for that kid. You know he's coming in with a bunch of great veterans that's going to teach him the ropes and, and let him know everything that he needs to know about the game. Everybody talks about that 7-3 score, but that really doesn't mean much. I mean, it's preseason. I've seen teams go 4-0 <laughs> in the preseason and go 1-15 in the regular season. Absolutely. Uh, we try We try not to push too much weight into the preseason. Obviously, we want to win every game we play in, but you know, it was a good measurement of, of where we are and where we need to be. Uh, overall, we didn't get the W, so we got to improve on that and try to win this next one. When you do you feel like the team responded to how you guys played Saturday with what Mike wanted out of practice today? Absolutely, man. Without, without a doubt, we came in today, night practice, worked hard. Uh, conditions changed on us, rained all day. We went inside the bubble. Nobody likes turf. Went out there, we, we flew around, and we were excited to be out there. And I think that's a testament to the true brotherhood that we have on this team between the, the camaraderie that we have between offensive and defensive players is unbelievable. It'll be pretty cool, man. It's a, it'll be a cool experience going up against somebody that's not the same offense of players that we've seen throughout camp. Uh, different scheme, you know, and it's a great way to test and see where we are really with another team coming in here two days. And, and, and I know Mike is going to remind you guys about how you know post-play stuff. I mean, is that tough? I mean, you guys will be competing, button heads out there. We're, we're definitely going to compete, but I will say this. Nobody wants to get fined, so <laughs> we're, going, we're going to make sure we keep our tempers uh, very cool. <laughs> There's some sort of a history with Cam Newton in the past. Obviously, 
he probably won't be out there throwing the ball. But is that playing anything at all? Not at all, man. You know, that was uh, two years ago, how I many ever years ago it is. But, you know, we're competitors. So we want to win and, and be dominant in every drill that we're in. So it's, that's going to show for sure. Coach Malarkey said that the big thing about the Panthers coming in is just increasing the competition level, increasing the intensity. So what does that do for you guys uh, other than competition wise like what what else changes and what else can you learn from the Panthers coming in here like I said going up against a new scheme but most importantly you have to be ready because they're going to be trying to come in here and embarrass us you know in front of our home crowd and I think that's the most important part this is it's going to be a great way to check and see where your heart is all right, we're here on Sportsline talking Tennessee Titans. We've heard from a lot of the players and Coach Malarkey. Got the Carolina Panthers coming in tomorrow. Practice starts at 9.15 a.m. Open to the public. You'll have to watch us on News Channel 5 tonight for Henry Rothenberg's weather report to see whether or not you can get in the car and get on over there to Titans training camp and watch them work out with the Carolina Panthers. Our phone number is 615-737-7767. It's right there right on the screen, so you could just pick up your phone and call. But we're going to take a break first. We're going to take a break here on Sportsline. I'm Steve Wrigley. Sitting in for Steve Lehman and John Burton. We'll see you on the other side. Somebody call. Come on, just call me. Don't be afraid. You just call me. Bye-bye.